Yo, 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 it's math class. That's as clear as, as a glass when it's yo, dog. It's math class. Not time to be smelling that grass. Okay, so. Oh, no. Alright. 6.59. Today, I'm here to tell you about scientific notation. What you do with scientific notation is you take this number and you move your decimal point over that many places, pretty much. There's not much more to it. So, problem, this is what I do to help me out. I move the decimal like this and insert zeros where I move the decimal and place my decimal there, and then that's your number. So, is your answer. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Yo, Yo dog. dog, I'm <laughs> Funk Master K. Yippity yay, I love to sit around and do math all day. Yo, dog, it's math class. <laughs> that's as clear as, as a glass for the Yo, dog, dog. It's math, math class. class. Not time to be smelling Smell that grass. grass. Right. Here's our problem. 4.18. Times 10 to the negative 6, and we write the problem. Alright, and since this is negative, you move over 6 spaces and add your zeros. And rewrite your problem as your new answer. Yo, it's DJ -D 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 Funk and Fresh. I be the best at math. I beat the rest at math. Yo, dog, it's math class. That's as clear as a glass window. Yo, dog, it's math class. Not time to be smell that grass. Right, so what I'm doing is multiplication using. Oh, this is why. First thing you do is um, figure out the commutative and associative properties, which would be 5 times 6 for the 1. And next you would, um, you would add the 5 and the 6 with the 10, so it would be um, uh, 30 times 10 to the 11. This step from here to there. Now I get, get 3.0 times 10. 10. Alright. Yo, yo, yo. They call, they call me little David. I spit on the bike at day and do math at night. Yo, dog! It's math class. That's as clear as a glass when a yo dog. It's math class. And we're here to say you'll be using that math every day. Peace.